Hey sleepers, it's Nicole, your favorite mattress expert with Sleepopolis, and today I'll be comparing the newly remodeled hybrid mattresses from Nectar, including the Nectar Classic Hybrid, the Nectar Premier Hybrid, and finally the Nectar Lux Hybrid. I recently tested all of these beds individually, and you can find those reviews here on YouTube. Even though they are all from the same brand, it doesn't mean they were made the same nor feel the same. I'm going to compare how these beds differ in multiple areas like firmness, construction, cooling, responsiveness, and more, all to see which mattress comes out on top. But before I get started, I do want to let you know that you can save money on all the beds that I mentioned in this video by using our exclusive coupons linked below. Now let's get this ultimate Nectar Hybrid mattress showdown underway. Yes, obviously all these beds are from the same brand, but they do actually have a few other things in common as well. So let's go ahead and start with their similarities. All of these mattresses will ship for free and will arrive at your doorstep compressed and rolled up in a box. They also all come with a year trial period as well as an impressive lifetime warranty. Even though I'll only be comparing the brand's hybrid mattresses in this video, all of these beds do come in a memory foam version as well. You can also find the video of me comparing all of Nectar's memory foam mattresses here on our YouTube channel. And finally, all of these newly remodeled Nectar mattresses do not contain any fiberglass in their construction. Let me explain. Before the remodeling, Nectar's mattresses did contain fiberglass, which was a rather big concern with many sleepers, and many were leery about buying these mattresses beforehand. So the brand took those concerns into consideration and left out fiberglass out of all of their mattresses moving forward so you can sleep safe and sound. And I heard you, loud and clear. Now that we know the similarities between these three beds, let's go ahead and see how they're different. I wanna start things off with breaking down the height of each. The Nectar Lux Hybrid is the tallest bed at 14 inches in height, the Nectar Premier Hybrid is 13 inches in height, and the Nectar Classic Hybrid is the smallest in height at 12 inches tall. The taller the bed, the more plush and pressure relieving therapeutic memory foam it's made with. This also makes each mattress more softer than the previous mattress in this collection due to the added foam. Now let's break down each individual bed. I like to think of these beds as evolutions of one another. I know I'm gonna sound nerdy here, but before you judge me, I'm just gonna let my freak flag fly. All these beds do remind me of Pokemon. Before you start rolling your eyes, let me explain. Nerd! First you have the Nectar Classic Hybrid, the smallest bed you can buy in the hybrid line. Kinda like the baby out of the group. You don't get many bells and whistles with this bed, but it's the most affordable and gets the job done in a pinch. Think of it similarly to the OG starter Pokemon, like Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Then you have the second mattress in the hybrid line, or the evolved version of the original, the Nectar Premier Hybrid. This bed comes just with a few more bells and whistles compared to the original hybrid bed, like extra additional cooling fibers and more therapeutic memory foam built into its construction. The Nectar Premier also just so happens to be the brand's most popular mattress. This mattress is just the evolved version of the Nectar Classic Hybrid, so you can just compare this to the second generation Pokemon. The ones who evolved from the OG Pokemon like Ivasaur, Chameleon, and Wartortle. And finally, you have the final evolution, or the most luxe bed in each line, that comes with the most premium features. You can think of the Nectar Luxe Hybrid as the final evolution, the most luxe you can get. Similarly to Venusaur, Charizard, or Blastoise. And the final difference between these three beds is that their price tag increases as more features are added. And speaking of price, before we dive way too far into the deep end of this mattress battle, let's go ahead and see how much each of these beds will cost you. With our exclusive coupons, you can score the Nectar Classic Hybrid for around 800 bucks for a queen size. The Nectar Premier Hybrid will cost you around 1,000 bucks with our coupons, only being a couple hundred bucks more expensive than the Classic. And finally, the Nectar Lux Hybrid is the most expensive out of the three and is around 1,400 bucks for a queen size after sales and discounts. Keep in mind that Nectar often runs sales and deals and we always have coupons for you to save even more. Just click the link in the description below. Now let's talk about the feel of each bed. Here at Sleepopolis, we like to rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, with one being as if you're sleeping on a pile of soft kitties, just try not to squish them, Hi. and 10 being as if you were sleeping on hard cement. And we like to use the rating of six and a half as the standard for medium firm. As I previously mentioned, the Nectar Premier Hybrid and Lux Hybrid both feel softer than the industry standard. I gave them both a rating of 6 out of 10, so medium soft, whereas the Nectar Classic is the most firm out of the three, and I gave that one a rating of 6.5 out of 10, meaning the Classic is a true medium firm mattress. 
Many factors can influence whether or not you may be comfortable on a mattress, like your body type, weight, and sleep style. So let's go ahead and see how you may feel on each of these beds. The Nectar Classic Hybrid is a great pick for most back and stomach sleepers. Since this bed is both soft, plush, yet supportive, it's perfect for these sleepers. However, since this mattress is medium firm, I personally would not recommend this bed for side sleepers. Even though this bed is soft, this bed is still too firm and doesn't offer much body contouring to help contour to the joints. Since the coils increase the mattress's durability and support, this bed could also be a solid pick for heavier sleepers who weigh over 250 pounds. Since the Nectar Premier Hybrid is a tad softer than the Nectar Classic Hybrid, thanks to the extra layer of pressure relieving foams, this bed offers a great blend of comfort and support, so it should be comfortable for most back, side, and stomach sleepers. The extra layer of pressure relieving memory foam also helps provide great pressure relief for the lower back, perfect for folks with back pain. This layer also helps provide a decent amount of sinkage around the shoulders and hips, making this a good option for side sleepers. However, these sleepers with more sensitive joints may need a mattress that offers more body contouring. Even though this bed should work for most sleepers, heavier sleepers who weigh over 250 pounds may sink further into the bed and may feel the coils press up against their body, so they may not feel as comfortable as light to average weight sleepers. And finally, let's talk about the Nectar Lux Hybrid. Not only does this bed offer a great blend of comfort and support, but you also get the additional cooling, so this bed truly offers the trifecta for back sleepers. However, even though I am primarily a back sleeper, I felt the most comfortable on my stomach. This bed offers great plushness around the chest, while the coils help encourage your hips and body to remain lifted. This bed contains the most amount of therapeutic memory foam in its construction, so it's perfect for side sleepers with sensitive joints. However, your hips do sink in the more you rest on this bed, so it's not the easiest for combination sleepers to change positions during the night. But this bed is plush enough and supportive enough to cater to most body types and weights, including heavier sleepers who weigh over 250 pounds. Whoa, buddy, I know that was a lot of info. As I wind down on this video, I do wanna recap by going over who I think should prefer or would prefer which hybrid mattress. So I'm gonna go over each, first starting with the Nectar Classic Hybrid. Most back and stomach sleepers should feel comfortable and supported on the Nectar Classic Hybrid. This bed is also a good option for folks with mobility issues. The Nectar Classic Hybrid is supportive enough to support larger bodies over 250 pounds, and since this is the least expensive hybrid option the Nectar offers, this mattress should be a good option for most budget-friendly shoppers. And now, here's who I think should get the Nectar Premier Hybrid. Not only is this also a good option for most back and stomach sleepers, but side sleepers without sensitive joints should also feel comfortable on this bed. And since this bed is more plush than the Nectar Classic, this bed is the best for folks with back pain. Due to its strong edge support system, its responsiveness, and how good the cooling properties are, this bed can also be a solid option for couples. And since this bed is incredibly responsive, this mattress is also a good option for combination sleepers. And finally, here's who I think should get the Nectar Lux Hybrid. This bed is by far one of the best mattresses I've ever tested at absorbing body heat, so it's perfect for hot sleepers. This bed is supportive yet plush enough to work for most back, side, and stomach sleepers. This bed also contains the most pressure relieving memory foam, so it's perfect for side sleepers with more sensitive joints. And finally, with the help of our coupons, this bed is only a couple hundred bucks more expensive than the other two mattresses, so if you are willing to splurge on a bed that comes with ample cooling and support technology, then I recommend the Nectar Lux Hybrid. And that's a wrap on this Ultimate Mattress Showdown. I know that was a lot of info, so I hope you were taking notes. Did you need me to take notes? Ultimately, we all have our own sleeping preferences and sleep styles, so technically I can't tell you who the winner is, and ultimately that's gonna be up to you to decide. But I do hope I made your decision-making process a whole lot easier. If you want more information about any of the beds that I mentioned in this video, you can find our full in-depth reviews over on sleepopolis.com. And while you're there, you should check out our sleep health information as well as our exclusive coupons so you can save moolah on any of the beds that I mentioned. Now, before you go, smash that like button and subscribe. Check us out on TikTok and Instagram so I'm always on your phone. And I will see you here next time for the next mattress battle.